Puyo Puyo Tetris 2! You said, my powers are meant to serve the world. <laughs> In that case, there's only one thing to do. We have to go to them. I'm here! It's such a peaceful day. Peaceful and quiet. It's so peaceful I could just sing at the top of my lungs. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, as great as peace is, it's actually kind of boring. It'd be more fun if something crazy and over the top happened. Like, if all my friends just came bursting out of the sky. But that's nonsense. Something like that would never happen on such a peaceful day, right? Huh? Oh my! What's happening? I think someone's bursting out of the sky! Youch! Where am I? Pee pee! Ah, well, can't say I expected something like this. Um, hey, Mr. Tight Clothes Skydiver? Are you okay? Beep beep! Oh, hey there, little yellow guy! Uh, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. <clears throat> Captain's report. We've been summoned here by the Keeper of Dimensions. X. We appear to have crash-landed done so right in front of a young girl with unusual hair. Is he reporting to that yellow ball? Hey, you seem like you're doing all right. Oh, hang on. Haven't we met before? You know, I was actually thinking the same thing. T. Oh, glad to see you were able to land safely. You, with the weird outfit. I was just about to remember something, but you crashed so hard you made me forget again. You look kind of familiar yourself, now that I think about it. But enough distractions. I've got to figure out what's going on. Between this guy with the super tight clothes and this yellow fluff nugget, how the heck am I supposed to process what's going on? I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Ringo, T, I know this is sudden, but I need you two to battle. Okay, sure. It's just like that old saying goes, when things don't make sense, battle until they do. <laughs> That's gotta be why you want us to battle, right? Exactly. Ah, of course. Whenever a problem presents itself, the only solution is to battle. Pee 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 pee! Hey, you're pretty sharp. Well, you said it best yourself. Now, are you ready? Let's do this. Puyo Puyo time! Tetris time! It's on! Huh? He doesn't play Puyo Puyo? 
She doesn't play Tetris? But that's... Oh no, we're starting! I never back down. We were still able to battle, even though he was using blocks instead of Puyo's. Huh, and I wasn't half bad myself. What were those squishy blobs with... faces? It appears that when four or more of the same color match up, they vanish. I couldn't have described Puyo's better myself. You really are sharp. And you've got some serious skills. Lining those shapes up and erasing them? You made it look like a piece of cake! Ah, those shapes are what we call tetraminos. But, first things first. You with the curly hair. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I'm Captain T of the SS Tetra. I'm also the Tetris King. 
Well, my name's Ringo. I'm just a normal junior high student who's crazy about Puyo Puyo battles. Wait, Wait a second. second. I knew it! We, we have, have met before! before. Pee pee -bee -bee. Excellent. You managed to restore a bit of your bond with each other. Oh, it's the confusing outfit guy. Yes, th that's me. Anyway, that'll be enough battling for now. Whew. Although, I know this is out of nowhere, but I need your help. Some kind of strange phenomenon is at work. It's trying to merge the worlds of Puyo Puyo and Tetris yet again. And they'd already been separated once before. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it right there. Separated once before? Does that mean this isn't the first time this has happened? Uh, that doesn't matter now. While the two worlds had previously merged, the circumstances this time are different. Someone is behind all this. I can sense it. If the worlds merge, we'll be consumed by unimaginable chaos. And it seems someone is intent on unleashing such chaos. Oh. Oh. Sorry, this all just sounds like a huge deal. Honestly, it's kind of going over my head, but please, go on. Ringo, T, I need the two of you to work together. You need to discover what and who is causing all of this. Well, I'm off. You're what now? Jeez, I didn't mean to yell at him, but what the heck? So abrupt. Hang on, Mr. Fancy Suspenders. Are you going to help us or not? I'm sorry, Ringo, but I have matters of my own to tend to. There's an important task I need to take care of. And with that, I must return to my post. I know we'll see each other again, but for now... X, wait! I must leave it in your hands. Find out who's behind all this. Pee-pee! Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Well, better get started. You're handling this quite well. Yep, I stay calm during extreme situations. It's a strong suit of mine. Besides, I can already tell this is going to be one wild adventure. I can't take it. I'm so pumped. Let's do this! Even outrageously impossible requests like this get my blood going. It's curious, I must say. I can't tell my left from my right in this strange place, and I've been given an unreasonable task. Yet here I stand, undaunted. Peep, 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 peep. I'm here! Okay, so... We've been asked, politely, to basically save the world. All we have to do is find someone without any clue what they look like or where they are. Where do we even start? Hmm. Now that you mention it, what we've been entrusted with is on a much grander scale than we are. Then maybe undaunted isn't the right mindset want to be a little daunted then first things first we must find others who are willing to help us good thinking let's do that heep, 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 heep. got anyone in mind T in fact I do 
I've been sending out transmissions via O. Unfortunately, communications seem to be taking a while. Pee pee! So this little yellow ball, I mean, O, has the ability to send out transmissions? That's right. O is my trusty sidekick. Pee pee! You'll get a proper introduction later. Okay, then let's get my friends to help us out. We'll drag them along on this sketchy quest for who knows what. Interesting choice of words. Come on, let's go find them. Huh? Ringo? What brings you here? Looks like you brought some friends. A guy with one heck of an outfit and a little yellow... Um... Oh, hey, I was just looking for you. Guys, this is Maguro. He's a fellow classmate and my childhood friend. Hey, everyone. I'm Maguro. So he's an acquaintance of yours, Ringo? Then we should ask him to help us. Though, I'm not sure how to explain our rather complex situation to him. Hey, Maguro. Let's have a Puyo battle, right here, right now, and put your heart into it. Uh, what? Yeah, you've got to speak the right language to get through to him. The language of Puyo battles. Y I, I don't think it works that way. Sure, let's do it. All right, straight to the point. Ready? It's Puyo time! I think I get it now. So some mysterious guy shows up out of the blue and tells you that the world's in serious trouble. And now you, T, and his little yellow companion, O, are on a mission. A mission to find out who's behind all the bizarre stuff going on. But you don't have a single clue to guide you. Sound about right? Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Beep, beep, beep. Something wrong? The way you communicate, it's on a... You're facing me. Oh, look.
I never back down. You're facing me. Yeah. 